Bruce Lee, a dazzling star in the martial arts world, developed a strong interest in the performing arts from a young age under the influence of his father. His talent for performance was fully nurtured and showcased in the film studio, and by the age of 18, he had already appeared in over 20 films, demonstrating his extraordinary acting talent. The Birth of a Kung Fu Movie Star At the age of 26, Bruce Lee's outstanding performance in The Green Hornet made him famous in the United States. Although he was only a supporting actor, his martial arts skills and screen charisma made him the most dazzling presence in the film, even overshadowing the lead actor. As Arnold Schwarzenegger once said, I don't just want to be an actor, I want to be the highest paid actor. Similarly, Bruce Lee wrote down his own ambitious goal on a notepad, to become the highest paid Super Eastern star in the United States. The ambitions and foresight of these two giants coincided, showing their common pursuit of excellence. A record-breaking box office star. At the age of 31, Bruce Lee signed on for the Big Boss and Fist of Fury with a salary of $15,000. These two films not only elevated him to the throne of the Kung Fu movie king in the Hong Kong film industry but also set new records for the highest box office in Hong Kong since its opening and broke the Asian box office record. A New Era of Kung Fu Cinema Subsequently, The Way of the Dragon, which Bruce Lee self-wrote, directed, and starred in, as well as Enter the Dragon, co-produced with Hollywood's Warner Brothers, both achieved astonishing box office success, ushering in a new era of Kung Fu movies in Hollywood. In the early 70s, a craze for Chinese Kung Fu movies swept the world, and Bruce Lee's name became a global sensation with fans spread across the globe and Chinese martial arts rapidly spreading worldwide. Bruce Lee's Legacy According to incomplete statistics, during the 1960s and 1970s when Bruce Lee was alive, his box office revenue reached several hundred million Hong Kong dollars. His films not only drove hundreds of millions of fans around the world to madness but also inspired countless filmmakers to love and pursue martial arts movies, including the comedy star Stephen Chow whose films such as Kung Fu Hustle and Shaolin Soccer are tributes to Bruce Lee. The Regrettable End of a Superstar Just as Bruce Lee was ambitiously preparing to continue his cinematic legend, he unexpectedly passed away on July 20, 1973, at the age of 33. The official cause of death was cerebral edema caused by an allergy to painkillers, but this explanation still has many controversies and speculations to this day. Although Bruce Lee's life was short, the legacy he left to the world is eternal. His martial arts skills, film works, and philosophical thoughts continue to inspire countless people. Bruce Lee was not only a kung fu movie star but also a cultural icon, a true master of martial arts.